all guys welcome back to video's garage so this is gonna be a big day we have to replace the front lower control arms on this mustang we just decided to do both front lower control arms because they're super bad especially the ball joints on them so just decided to go ahead and replace both both of them because it's just so bad so much clunking and i'll show you later what i'm talking about but there's so much clunking going on in the front of this car super unsafe with driving i already replaced the steering components on it and sway bar links and bushings whatnot i just got to replace those control arms that's like one of the last things i have to do to this car because everything else is still original on it basically from 2006 and this car has been in the family since 2010 so yeah pretty crazy we got new control arms for it with brand new ball joints and i'll be able to grease them up as well so that's awesome We're about to get started on this bad boy All right, so I'm about to show you everything that's going on. So this bushing is also tired. So it's pretty torn right there. Not too crazy, but it's torn. Okay, but now for the crazy part is all the clunking. I'm about to show you this ball joint and how bad it is. Let's see if I can show you. that there's your clunking it's coming from that ball joint that's bad jeez yeah i'm pretty sure these control arms are original so time to replace those things definitely <laughs> just gotta tell you that i'm glad that this is pacific northwest and <laughs> not chicago because these bushings would have been or these bolts would have been just seized inside of those bushings i already know that but these are coming out just fine so then i already loosened those ones and it should be a pretty easy process I don't, i'm not planning on removing anything else here besides the control arm and i'm not gonna disconnect anything else so should be pretty easy straightforward now just loosening that lower ball joint section Well, let's just hope that I don't have to drop the steering rack to remove this stupid bolt. Because <laughs> I really don't want to do that. <clears throat> oh boy, I didn't know it was going to be that big of a pain, but here's what I did. So, turned the wheel all the way to the right, and now finally had to pound this guy out. It was so bad. Now I disconnected the little control arm from the knuckle. Now I can move this thing out this way. Now it will give me more room to take this bolt out instead of... Because I was actually thinking already to like loosen the steering rack and all that. But at least I don't have to do that this time. Oh, look at the stupidity. Let me show you. Damn. Look at the stupidity. Why you couldn't just install the nut on this side and the bolt on the other side? Like why? Stupid. What can I say? Oh, hello there, buddy. Yeah, you're, you've seen better days for sure. So what I learned is after loosening this bushing, you can tilt the control arm this way a little. And now I can try to take this bolt out. What a pain. I have to compress this uh, boot a little. Dude, are you kidding me? Well, trying and struggling still. Trying to be patient with this thing. Yeah, still won't come out. Stupid, stupid bolt. Yeah, look at this mess. Had to disconnect this and all that just to be able to take this bolt out. Come on. Oh, 
Come on, this thing is... As much as this car is cool, it's not mechanic friendly for sure. Control arm right there. Now, gotta put this inner bolt back in. It's gonna be a pain, but I put some anti seize too. So, I'm almost done with this side. I'm wrapping everything up. The whole joint is reinstalled. Man, what a pain this was. It's always like you think it's easy, but then you start doing it and like it takes you a lot longer than you would expect. Okay, the control arm is installed. So while the car's still up in the air, you can actually install or tighten all these two nuts. One here, one right there. But the only thing is this bolt right there has to be tied on as the car is fully on the ground. Otherwise, you're going to tear up the bushing. But with this one, actually, it doesn't matter the way it's designed. Yeah. And now I'm greasing up the ball joint. So I have the grease gun right here. And I'm about to pump this thing with fresh grease. I'm gonna start seeing that boot get bigger. I think that should be enough. Now doing the other side. This side is also not better. Uh, listen to this. Ball joint has play. And that uh, bushing is also torn. Yep. Now this side is all back together. Oh boy, and I had a big crazy fight with this bolt again on this side. This is how I had to take it out, just by moving that. Oh, the tie rods with a knuckle this way. Man, but the wires are okay here, the brake hose, everything's fine here. Now I can take this control arm out. Oh, wow, what a crazy pain. This one also has play. Trash. Bushings are tired. This one too. Pretty sure it's original, never been done. However, I really want to give the credit to, uh, you know, Mustang engineers. Mainly because, for example, like this suspension component, right? Like on regular cars, you would have to hold another wrench here and spin this one out, but this one has this holder. So literally as you're turning it, you don't have to counter hold anything. That's what's cool. However, I'm not grateful for that bolt because <laughs> that's annoying. Um, and you have to literally stretch this thing out like that to install it and remove that bolt. Uh, yeah, I'm almost uh, done with this and uh, I can't wait. Yeah, it took me a little bit on that side. This side is going a lot easier now, so. Almost done working on this car. It's crazy. My energy is all gone. I'm dropping tools and everything. <laughs> all right, finally, everything's back on. All greased up. Ready to go. Let's throw this wheel on. Not gonna lie, I'm beat. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a piece of cake, but as always, it wasn't. Crazy Mustang. You know, got to maintain the horse, so. And no more playing the wheel. 
in any position. This thing is all fixed up. It'll just probably need an alignment, just a slight adjustment. And the car is on the ground now, the wheels are torqued, and yeah, I see the alignment is way off now. I'm gonna have to adjust it right now. But first I have to, you know, I'm gonna push the car up and down actually and move it a little bit back and forth so the suspension can sit a little bit because I need to install or tighten those two bushings that I was talking about. So I have to just kind of push it up and down multiple times. Well, I gotta tell you that super happy there's uh, such a method with a string to do your alignment doing it the old school way so i'm gonna try and leave this just towed in very very slightly both sides so let's see how she drives after that